Here's what we have. Um, so more or less what we have here is a cylindrical joint here. We have two contact sets and as you can see, they are difficult to get to behave properly. Like the joint is a little bit um, cumbersome to move around, but it is being constrained properly. Um, that will happen from time to time. So the contact set is just a bound set where this particular object cannot pass through this other object. So it allows you to kind of get the motion that you're looking for. Um, like your, your, um, your mirrors are going to have, um, with that sort of mount, but, uh, it is, uh, it can lead to being a little buggy. The, the reason this won't work with most joints is because what you're trying to do is move, um, you're trying to use very slight motion of these screws. So they're not staying cylindrically bound inside of, um, of how you have them. So what's actually happening is like this contact set is showing in like an extreme case is like you're doing this with your screws. So your screw is no longer perpendicular to the plane that you're on. It's at some weird angle, it's twisted, it has stress inside of it. Same for this one. Um, I might be able to get it to do some more extreme stuff, but you can see like they're touching in multiple places, whereas this one is uh, cylindrical here. But you can see as I move this one in and out, these do really weird things. Um, but we have ball joints in three spots, we have two contact sets, and we have a cylindrical joint. And uh, yeah. I think that is uh, as close as you're going to get. Um, you may be able to get a little closer, but that's mostly uh, how you do this.